Dual Review is brought to you by NexusDigitalComics.com. On today's Dual Review, Helsing. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Welcome to Tuesday, 25th of October. We're doing Helsing the Anime. Yes. Uh, well, well, I want to specifically do Helsing Ultimate, which is the later anime. Uh, it was first released 2001 and 2003. That was the first anime. It was 13 episodes. Did not follow the manga. Um, the manga is much beloved in Japan, uh, and so they decided to do an anime series, but for whatever reason, powers that be decided they should not follow necessarily. Same characters. Actually... There are very close <laughs> approximations of the manga characters, but they're actually different. So that's the one that I originally saw, and it was okay. And it was enough for me to want to buy the discs to explore them further and to watch them in sequence, because I watched them out of sequence. So at Best Buy, I saw they had Helsing Ultimate. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, maybe that's just like the re-release, you know, the, right, right, right. the remastered, like, uh, you know, Cowboy Bebop 01.1 or whatever. <laughs> So I went ahead and bought them. There were only four. I was like, that's not right. So come to find out that Helsing Ultimate is really a reboot of the series. Um, and it follows the manga much closer. And that one was uh, 2006, yeah. 2006 uh, to present. Uh, and here's the thing. In Japan, they have released all ten episodes, I believe. Each episode is about an hour, uh, give or take. And it was it's, it's you know TV series or whatever there. Um here in the States, we've only gotten one through four. And it's been how long? I mean, yeah. it's 2011 now, so it's been five years. Um, well, it's almost 2012. Well, they just released, or just promised to release. Or they got the rights to, Funimation got the rights to release the next three. So up to seven. Uh, and those will be released apparently this year still. And then that leaves another three. Yep. When are they going to be released? I don't know. Probably another four years. So... It's almost hard for me to recommend just based on that, that you're going to have to wait a friggin' long time to see the end of this. But, when I bought the four, and we both watched them recently, it is, I think it's an awesome anime. Yeah, it's, um, it's great. I think one of the, my favorite things is just watching um, Alucard with, the sm with a smile on his face. It's, it's just so sinister. Oh. Yeah, it follows Alucard, who is this kind of master vampire. Uh, he's like more powerful than any other vampire and yada 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 and he gets uh, roped in by the Helsing organization to hunt other vampires right and he, and he essentially thinks that the hell I mean he understands the Helsings to be his master and I don't quite understand how yeah, that works and out. I'm not I'm not sure I, I don't think it was ever explained in the 13 that they did that didn't follow the manga I'm sure the manga has much more to do but I haven't read the manga so I'm left wondering that too um, very early on uh, he takes a uh, police girl, and it's one of those things that vampires in this world only happen to the opposite sex of the... The vampire can only make another vampire with the opposite right. sex virgin, a virgin of the opposite sex. And so there's this vampire, he's raising hell, uh, Alucard gets beckoned to deal with him. Uh, the vampire takes this police girl as a hostage, and Alucard asks, are you a virgin? And so, you know, us, the audience, we figured out what's going on, I think, and and she's like, yes, she gets all blushy or whatever. And so Alucard dispatches mm -hmm. her, uh, shoots right through her, basically, to kill the vampire behind her. And so then she is left dying, and he gives her a choice. Do you want to die, or do you want to become a vampire? Right. And so she kind of chooses vampire. And I'm, and I, I'm still wondering what his motive for taking on a vampire apprentice would be like does he just not sure but she definitely gets uh his power later on kind of i mean because he she was created by him right. and we don't want to give it too much away but she's also but... being tutored by him tutored? yeah yeah well tutored. yeah i mean she she joins the helsing organization as well i mean she was this police girl and so then whatever but you know for for the four four that we have she basically refuses to drink blood right i know i know what happens uh, i've done some studying and and when you drink blood? Lips. No, no, no. <laughs> what happens to her later. Okay. So I know where she's headed. Right. But in these four, she, she resists that. She wants to hold on to her humanity. Um, but part of my part of the funnest part 
is seeing her in a rage, in blood rage. Oh, yeah. Like, she just, she, her face changes, her attitude changes, and... Uh, she just goes nuts. Yeah, it's it's pretty fun to see. Uh, anyway, um, I, well, I, yeah, I like that sort of thing. Yeah. I like vampires. Uh, so anyway, um, so I highly recommend this. Uh, what did you think of it? Uh, I enjoyed it very much. I did. Um, let's see. Uh, like I said, I loved Alucard's grin. I loved his special powers. I loved the fact that he... Uh, Makes fun of other vampires for not being as great as him. Well, and he gets he gets some super powered vampires after him. Yeah, but they've only got like one or two tricks. Right. Alucard just he just you know full one minute he's a mist. Full of it. Yeah, he's full he's full of it. <laughs> and I liked I liked um what was that the manufactured uh hunter uh oh with right the blades what's his name uh. I don't know, it's something fairly mundane, like Robinson or something. I can't remember, but yeah. he's, a, he's a Catholic. Right, um, of the Catholic Church. And uh, the, 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 the and then Vatican. we get Nazis, like and halfway Nazis. through, or, you know, what we have. So like the second, or the third, third whatever, we get this Nazi group, and it's basically the last regime of the Third Reich, or whatever. And they're made up of a thousand vampires who are controlled by little chips in their heads, I think. I guess that old chestnut. But anyway, uh, everyone loves that one. <laughs> so yeah, so Nazis and vampires, and uh, uh, Alucard has to take them on, and that's kind of where we get left off. We get a little bit yeah. of that, but um, it's an interesting mix, you know, Nazis and vampires. We've seen that in Blood Rain. You know, it shows up. Uh, U Bowl kind of screwed that up, <laughs> but uh, otherwise, um, what did you think about the voice acting? Um. Because most of it's very well, like the girl, she's very British. And yeah, she's she kind of cutesy, and I and I was fine with that. Um, and I was fine with um, whatever her really long name is. Helsing is right, right, right. Um, and I, I loved Alucard, um, but I know there was one that I really just had a problem with, but I can't think of it. The butler was fine. Yeah, the butler's great. Um, I, I have a little bit of problem with her, a police girl. I forget her her yeah, regular name. Yeah, start with a C, right? Um, but. Uh, it's just a little, she, she's a little bit hackneyed, you know, a little bit stilted, uh, but mm. it is cute enough, you know, and it's different. Yeah. I'm, I'm not used to hearing a British girl cute, accent. Cutesy, yeah. yeah. So, so. I, th I think it worked. Uh, so, yeah, no, no negative marks really there. Yeah. Um, I think that the guy who does the, uh, the Catholic priest, you know, the hunter. Yeah. Does a pretty good job. Oh, yeah. It's like I think he's a really compelling something. character, Irish. Irish. He's a, he's a very compelling character. Uh, I want to know more about him. So I, I hope that they do that. You know, they begin, that begin, it starts off basically as his arch, you know, like his nemesis or right. whatever. Um, even though I think Alucard is really holding back in their first encounter. And then he kind of becomes de facto his ally. And we haven't seen where that goes yet. Um, but... Again, oh, like, I like that. I like that part in the museum when they were in a fight, and then the, the, oh, the right. police the, girl comes in, like coming through. Hi. She's leading a yeah, a yeah. group of old people to kind of diffuse the situation. Anyway, yeah. there's a little bit of humor in there, but there's really not a whole lot. Oh, but when it's, it's funny, sparse. it's funny though. Yeah. It just comes up. It's like <laughs> so. It is so well done that even though you're gonna have to wait for a resolution, we recommend it. It's yes. definitely one that should be on your radar, and you should. visually, it's pretty cool. They all like. If you have to like nail it to your corkboard, like re remember to watch Helsing when all of them are out in four years, <laughs> yeah, whatever, you do that because it's worth it. Right, I agree. Should not be missed. Nope. Okay. Is there anything else you need? To, well, how about the like the music? And I don't think the music was terribly standout, but it was good. Yeah, I think it was good too. Um, I mean, sometimes a good sound, a good you know uh, sign of a good music soundtrack is that you don't notice it. That's true. Because it just kind of gets absorbed into, into this the story. Yeah. yeah, into this. Yeah. You know, and I liked I liked the. Like, I really do love that grin. Alucard's grin and just the lankiness of him. And he's got, like, these long spindly arms. And yeah, legs. yeah, yeah. Yeah, the art style is pretty cool. Yeah, it's so cool. Nothing takes me out of it. Yeah. And uh, I actually, you know, usually I'm super annoyed by, like, thuggy, gangstery kind of, like, especially white kids that are all, like, boy yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I think I know but you there's, know. A, there's a vampire. Right. It's one of the Valentine brothers. Valentine that brothers, is, yeah. is very uh, in-your-face and kind of hip-hop feel. And it, just all these stupid things that he says, but it works for him. I, I actually enjoyed that character. Yeah, immensely. I did too, and I wanted him to die. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but usually I'm just like, oh, shut up. But this one is like, oh, tell me more, and then die. You know? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he was fun. And I liked uh, the other brother, too. The other yeah, because he brother. thought he was super uber powerful. And yeah, then, and then and then he just... <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, Alucard. Wow. 
Yeah, and this is a vampire world that does rely on, you know, like silver and holy relics and stuff like that. Right. So, so there is a little bit of... But Alucard really can't be killed by any of that. I don't know how to kill Alucard. Or even if he can be killed. I had a feeling it was explained, but... Uh, they yeah, do, he, he can turn into yeah. mist and yeah. dogs and right. all sorts of stuff. It's almost kind of reminiscent of the darkness, actually, right? Yeah, a little, yeah. Especially, especially when all those eyes come up and just like... You know, become like a dog thing or whatever it yeah, was. Yeah. yeah, that was cool. All right, well, check it out. Yep, check out Helsing. Right. Um, would you recommend the uh, the end the the first thirteen? Um, they're all out. Um, I don't know if it ever resolved. I can't remember. It's been long enough. Uh, if you're curious, I'd say rent them. I don't say buy them. Certainly don't buy them. I think the Helsing Ultimate is definitely worth it more. Okay. Um, so start with Helsing Ultimate and see where it goes from there. And you get to see his. His love with the huge, long guns that he has. Helsing. How long are the guns? I never noticed. Well, it's, it's kind of, it reminds me of Devil May Cry, where he's got, like, Ebony and Ivory kind of thing. Right, right, right. But, uh, they're just, yeah, they're just super powered and very long, and he has, like, silver tip bullets and stuff. It's kind of yeah. Anyway. He does like those guns. Speaking of guns. Anyways. With my left hand. Oh, right afterwards. Yeah, right afterwards. No. Oh. Tell you. But that's your win. I thought I had a dart somewhere in my lap. Is that a dart in your lap? <laughs> Juke. Try it. Oh. <laughs> it just likes you. It's like magnetically pulled to you. <laughs> Deflected it. What do I do? <laughs> okay, fine. On this week's Focal Point, we talk about AMC's Walking Dead. Your gun is in frame! Your hand is in frame. Haha, <laughs> you have the square now. <laughs> you want to pass it on to you, ready? <laughs> oh, that worked! Oh my god! Oh, I wish you guys could see that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did it. <laughs> See, I just had to go away. There you go. Uh, I bet you all I have to do is go away, see? Uh, but it's not as funny yet. You, you know, take the score. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I, I blocked it. <laughs> right. It's not funny to anybody. I can't use it. <laughs> I think you can. People will be like, what the hell's going on? Okay, just to explain, there's a bounding box over. There's only one bounding box, and it's always on his face. But every once in a while, try it jumps pushing the it mic. over. Pushing over. No. <clears throat> and by doing that, I can actually toss it over to him. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ridiculous. I'll see now. You don't have to just go down. Do that too. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm getting red. Great. I'm always red. <laughs> Pink man. <laughs> <laughs> On today's dual review, it's Helsing. And I can't see a thing. It doesn't suck. Even though it's a vampire. It does suck. Yeah. You started way too early. I didn't even my glasses on. Okay. So we were starting off. What? Oh, sorry, I was cracking my neck. <laughs> okay. We should not have figured that out. <laughs> now it's gonna be like in the middle of a thing. <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're gonna crack our heads together. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let me look at my notes. <laughs> Too bad they can't see it. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go. <sighs> okay.